Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I will be stuffing $1,003. But before I get into this video, I do have some more Happy Mail to show you guys. So I will be doing a Happy Mail unboxing and then I'll jump into my cash stuffing and then I will be using the items that I received in my binders. So I will set that up at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get started with a package from Upscale Currency. So I had already opened this because I wanted to make sure that these tabs fit. If you did not watch my most recent video, it was a binder reset. So I organized all of my binders. I added some new ones, added some new envelopes, and I had these tabs and they didn't fit. So I reached out to her and she was so kind to send me the um, tabs like resized in a very quick manner and she is so so kind so I definitely recommend checking out her shop so I actually already have four in my binders I had these four but she sent them to me again because she was making these in a more like sturdy material and wanted the material to match so I appreciate that so much I have all of the other categories here and then she also did include some freebies which I thought was so nice so I have a mini saving challenge and this super cute like little journaling card and I can't wait to put this in one of my binders so that is what I got from Upscale Currency. I will have her shop linked down below. The next package is from Jasmine's Wallet and she was so so kind to send me these for free. I absolutely love her so much. Everything I've gotten from her she has sent me for free which I appreciate. She totally doesn't have to do it at all but every time I need more envelopes and we're just like talking she's always like because um, I told her I was going to buy these and she was like, no, <laughs> just send me your list. And I was like, okay. So she is so kind and I appreciate her so much. So definitely go support her if you can. So I have some more month ahead envelopes to add to my month ahead binder because I do want to eventually get a month ahead on these bills. So I have Spotify, which I think is so cute with the icon. I have one for my phone. I have one for Logan's phone, which I don't have a new phone yet, but once I do, I will have a phone payment, so this is just going to kind of sit until I get a new phone. I'm waiting for the new iPhones to come out and see if I like those, and then decide from there, so then Logan's phone. Next is utilities, life insurance, and oh my gosh, that is so cute, Netflix. Love these. These are so cute. I literally love the icons so much. And then she also included um, some envelopes for our phone because I think I mentioned it in a video that I wish they were like labeled so like I knew which envelope was whose because it just says phone and she said she included these and that was so surprising to me and just so generous so thank you so much for doing that i literally appreciate that so much so i will be adding these binders or these envelopes into my bills binder and my month ahead binder at the end of the video i cannot wait to use these i think the icons are so cute so i definitely i love those a lot the next package is from Elaine Budgets and again she is so so kind and generous to send me this stuff. I literally didn't even know what I did to deserve all of this but I do plan on giving back to all of my friends who have gifted me Happy Mail um, maybe like for Christmas or something because everyone is just so nice and I really do appreciate it and nobody has to send me stuff for free so um, I do plan on like giving back to all my friends who do this for me so I have a cute little paper clip and of course she includes some gorgeous stickers I, I really like this one this could go like in my personal binder and then here is her thank you card so she sent me two binders and I think after this I am good on binders, but I just could not resist her mauve binders. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I have this one, and then I also have this one, which is a pebbled finish, and this is the Safiano leather. So let's open this one first. This one is such a pretty color. I think it's perfect for the fall time, and I cannot wait to figure out what I want to do with this. I do want a travel binder and I just did a binder reset obviously if you watch my last video and I do have like tons of binders but the only one I can think of right now is a travel binder so we'll see 
what I decide to do. So this is the mauve one, and I actually do have this. She sent this to me before, but let me show you guys what that one looks like. So this is the mauve binder that she sent me first, and this is the inside, and it has silver rings. And this one is so pretty and amazing quality, but this one matches the rest of my binders with the gold hardware and the zipper right here and the pockets. So I'm going to probably give this one away because I don't have a purpose for it. My mom doesn't need it. So um, yeah, I need to figure out what I want to do with that. But she said I could go ahead and keep it. I asked her if she wanted it back and I could ship it back to her, but she said, no, just keep it or give it away or do whatever you want with it. So yeah, I have this one that matches the rest of my binders. She is just so, so nice for sending me these. I love them so, so much. So I'm going to set these to the side because I will not be setting up these binders in today's video. I kind of still have to figure everything out because I do have a lot. So I will be keeping these and um, just thinking about what to use them for. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. So that is all for the Happy Mail. So let's go ahead and get right into the cash stuffing. I'm going to start off with my wallet because I have a lot going on in my wallet. So all of these receipts need taken out and scanned into Fetch. Fetch is an app where you can scan your receipts, get points for them, and redeem them for gift cards. So I will have my referral code down below in the description box in case you're interested in that. So coffee is empty. Groceries, we have... I consider this to be a lot of leftover from groceries since we never have any money left over in groceries. So this is super exciting. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55 dollars left in groceries. So I'm going to put this aside and put this in another envelope. Spending. So I actually got change from when we went out to eat at Taco Bell and this bill is so crusty and raggedy but someone had left a comment on one of my videos when I was talking about star notes that um at the end of like the serial number check the letter and the x I've never like seen before and they said um I don't think it's like rare but said like to collect like x notes and I thought that was so like such a cool idea because then I started thinking every time I go through my bills when I go to the bank I look at this just to make sure it's not a star note because I collect star notes and I was thinking I don't really see a lot of X's so I'm gonna collect them and I'm gonna start this new thing with X notes and see like how many I can find because I pulled out all of this cash I pulled out more cash from my paycheck and then I pulled out even more cash for my Etsy paycheck and there were no X's at all so um yeah I think this would be kind of cool I don't know um, how many I will find but I don't really see X's so the ones that I see a lot of are like A's and B's and C's um, so yeah I just thought it was cool but I don't know it might be like nothing but I'm gonna keep it to the side and put it in a separate envelope and then there's nothing in the rest of these so I actually will not be stuffing anything in my wallet. Groceries get stuffed with my paycheck which I will have that video uploaded in a week so that is all for my wallet we are going to go into my bills binder so for bills the first one is rent which is getting 295 so i have 100 200 250 270 290 295 So now rent has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, uh, 870, 875, 880, 885, 885 in rent right now. So when I stuff rent um, with my paycheck, it will be the full amount for our payment. Next is car payment, which is getting 217 and uh i apologize like i had my binder like this that's because my hands are like going this way instead of like sorry my tripod is shaking like this way because i got a new tripod and it has to kind of sit over here and i'm still trying to figure out like how to turn it so like i can be like 
straight on the screen but not like bump into like the arm of the tripod so yeah but I really do like it so far it's a new one it's way better than my old one so I will link it down below in case you guys are interested because I've had a couple questions about that so car payment 100 200 210 15 16 17 so this will fully fund the payment So, car payment has 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3. So, 433 in car payment, which I'm actually going to the bank today to pay this bill. And so, this money is for next month since we are a month ahead. Car insurance is getting $111. So, 110, 11. And so now car insurance has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 15, 220, 221, and 222, which is our new amount for car insurance. So that's good. It used to be 240. So internet is getting 56. So 50, 55, 56. So now internet has. 50, 100, 5, 10, 11. 111 in internet. I'm skipping utilities and going to phone, which is getting 36. So 20, 30, 35, 36, and that's all that it has right now since we just paid this. And so this is what I was talking about with the two envelopes saying phone. Um, so this is like technically mine. But since I have new envelopes for that, I will switch those out. And then I'm going to go into credit card, which is getting $100. So credit card now has 1, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 21, 22. So 322 in credit card. This is for our Best Buy credit card, and Logan just needs to finish paying off the headset he bought. So then after that, um, we'll be done with this. So that is it for this binder. Next, I'm going to go into this taupe binder, which has the envelopes that we... I, don't, I still don't know what to call this. These are the envelopes we spend from often they're kind of like sinking funds but not really so household is getting 15 and it has nothing so that's all that it has pet care is also getting 15 so in pet care we have 10 20 25 30 1 2 3 4 so 34 dollars in pet care And the last one is going to be entertainment. And so this is getting $15. Logan wants to see the new Deadpool movie coming out. So we're, we already bought the movie tickets for that. We're going to go see that. So this is just for like snacks and stuff. So entertainment now has $15. And that's going to be it for this binder. Next, we're going to go into sinking funds. So, for this binder, we're going to go to car registration, which is going to get $10. So now car registration has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95 dollars. And then Passport is going to get 25 So now Passport has 50, 100, 20, 35. So 135 in Passport. And that's going to be it for this binder. And then the last binder is going to be Logan's personal binder. So in here, we're going to stuff dental, which is going to get 50. 
So now dental has one, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred and five. Seven hundred and five dollars in dental, which is pretty good. The goal is like fifteen hundred. Prescriptions is getting eight. So five, six, seven, eight. So now prescriptions has 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. Spending, this is for um, like him to take to work, well he can't take it to work because they don't take cash, but every time he wants breakfast or lunch, um, he'll take it from this envelope. So this is getting 40. So now in here, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77 dollars, which I believe I need to do an unstuffing, so I'm taking 20 dollars out of that, I think. I have it written down, I just can't remember. And then his envelope for me is getting 10. So now here, he has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85 dollars. And that is all for his binder. So now I have that extra money from groceries and then this like X note. So I will be putting these into some other envelopes. So this is my binder for like special bills. So I have all of my star notes and then I put this zipper envelope back here I don't have like um, an insert yet to label this because I just kind of, I didn't expect to do this. I just found it and I remembered. So I was like, oh, so it's just gonna go in this envelope right here. Next, since I have $50, I am going to put that $50 in our Japan envelope. So let's see, right here. So I have a tracker and every icon is worth $50. So I figured since I have 55, it would be perfect. So I'm going to color in an icon and add 20, 40, 50. So now in here we have 200, 400, 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 720, 725. $725 in our envelope for Japan. Okay, and then this extra $5, since it's just $5, I think I'm going to put it in my mini savings challenge right here. So I'm going to color in $5. Add that in here. So now mini savings has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 dollars in mini savings. Okay, that's all for this binder. Okay, so let's start with these envelopes. So I'm going to grab, I'm gonna move my cash tray and grab my bills binder so we're gonna go to phone this is Logan's phone envelope okay so that's gonna go there and then this one is going to be replaced with this envelope and I'm just gonna Put these in my stash of other extra envelopes I have. Okay, I think that's good for that. Actually, let me add my tabs as I go. So this is bills. So cute, I love these little tabs. And then I know like what uh, binder this is by just looking at the tabs. So I can kind of get used to like the colors and everything since I just added a whole bunch of new binders into my setup. 
So, okay, going into our month ahead binder. So in here I have month ahead and also my savings. So let's go ahead and add the month ahead tab. Okay, and then the envelopes. So I have this cute dashboard, rent. I'm gonna put them in the order that they are in my bills binder. So then I can't remember if utilities is first or internet, I guess it doesn't really matter. Internet, then utilities. Internet, then utilities, then Logan's phone, my phone, life insurance, Netflix, and Spotify. Okay. So that's good. So now I have all of my new envelopes. I think these are so cute. I literally love these so much. And I love this like month ahead binder idea that she gave me. So that's good for this binder. Next, let's switch out my high priority and low priority ones in here. And I guess I forgot to switch out my savings one. So I'll go back to that binder. Low priority, oops. Those are good and that's good for all of the binders I have here so now let's go into all of my other binders so this one is my business binder business and then these are all for my personal binder or binders I guess Okay, so the first one is just like my personal binder and the other one is like my savings, like sinking funds type of stuff. So that sinking funds tab goes with that one and birthday. So I have hobbies, self-care, and necessities. So I wanted to split these up um, kind of so necessities. Okay, I'm going to move this self-care is going to go here because then I have spending nails, hair, skin care, clothing. Planning is going to go with hobbies. So is budgeting. So is books. Beauty is going to be in my self-care. Shoes. Um, maybe self-care because it's like, I don't need shoes because I have them, but like I want them. Like I want a whole bunch of different shoes, so it's kind of like self-care because I'm just buying what I want. Um, haircuts is self-care. Target and Amazon. I got these envelopes, but I haven't really been able to use them because it's just not in the budget. This is just for like free spending. So I'm gonna move these. Okay, so here I just have, well, I guess I could put the hobbies because I took all those envelopes out. So after self-care is going to come hobbies. So then I have planning, budgeting, and books. Okay, there. So that way they're kind of divided up more. So I have self-care and then hobbies. Okay, so that's good for this binder. Lastly, I have... Oops, I have uh, my second personal binder, which has like my sinking funds. So prescriptions and dental are in here. So I'm just going to move toiletries in here as well. And this is gonna be the necessities section. 
So my necessities include toiletries, my prescription, and dental. Next, I have my sinking funds. So I have electronics here. Right now I'm saving up for a new phone case so that when I get a new phone, I have money for a phone case and a screen protector. Then this envelope, I'm gonna start like bulking up a lot so that like if my laptop randomly gives out again or my phone, I need a new phone or whatever, like an emergency, then I have that money because in November, my laptop like just broke because it was just so old and I was totally not expecting it. I didn't have the money for it. So I had to get a new laptop because I'm in school and I also have my business on there. I do YouTube as well. So I desperately needed a laptop. So I just put it on my Best Buy credit card. I got that paid off fairly quickly, which I'm really happy about, but I just want a sinking fund for electronics. So then I have my envelope for Logan, which I kind of think as a sinking fund because I'm just like saving up for that school, then graduation photos, and then classroom. So then I have my birthday section with this dashboard from Olive and Bark, which I, I think is just so pretty. So then this is where my birthday tab is going to go. I think that's so cute so I have all my sections divided up so I have my birthday envelope and gifts back here so now I have all of my sections for my personal binder in here so that is going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching definitely check out all of these shops I will have them linked down below I've talked about them before and they are all super amazing, so definitely support them if you can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.